Hi boys and girls, this is Miss Ulrich. Um, I'm gonna go over some more problems for um, lesson 26. The one that's posted on Google Classroom is a little bit too long for YouTube, so I'm just gonna go over some of these and then I will also go over the lesson 26 quiz. Okay, so here we go. Um, mm, let's do a different one. A soccer camp has places for 100 students, so they can take 100 students. So far, 60, let me turn my lamp on, of the places are filled. So 60 of the 100 spots are filled. Write both a fraction and the decimal in both hundredths and tenths to show the part of 100 places for students that are filled. So if I'm just going to put this as a decimal, it's not even one whole because that would be the whole camp would be filled up if it was one whole. So it's zero point and then 60 hundredths would just be like this. And then if I want to say it in tenths, that just means I'm going to say 6 tenths and I won't put that zero there. So these are all three ways that you could write 60 hundredths or 6 tenths. Um, let's look at number 6 on page 542. It says write a decimal equivalent to 2 tenths. So I could do um, 2 tenths. So if I have my ones, my decimal, my tenths, and my hundredths. Okay, so that means I don't have one whole, I have a decimal, and then I'm in tenths, so I only have two tenths, and there's no hundredths. So my decimal would be 0 0.2. Okay, and then uh, number four on page 544 says what is 2 and 5 tenths written as a decimal so 2 is my whole number so that goes to the left of the decimal point and then 5 tenths this is my tenth so the 5 is where that goes so the correct one would be C okay uh, number just the problem on page 545 says Eli collects animal cards he says that five hundredths of his cards are endangered animal cards. I know this is five hundredths because it's two decimal places over from the right of the decimal point. What fraction of his cards are endangered animal cards? What fraction? So if I just need to put this as a fraction, I know that this is in the hundredths, so my denominator is a hundred, and then five. Five hundredths. Um, what's another one we could do? Uh, number seven on page 550, which words of fractions name the same number as 62 hundredths? So A says 62 hundredths, that's correct. Six and two hundredths, that would mean six and, then we have our fraction two hundredths, that's not the same. Six tenths and two hundredths, that would mean it's separate. So that's not the same. 62 tenths, no, or 62 hundredths. So just A and E. Okay, um, let's look at three on page 552. Which decimal names the same amount as 50 hundredths? So uh, here's my tenths, and then here's my hundredths. So I just write 50 hundredths, and that would be A. Then it says, Abby chose B as the correct answer. How did she get that answer? So she put the five in the hundredths place value, that's correct, but it needs to be 50. So 50, the number ends with a zero to make it 50, and that's what needs to be in the hundredths place. So she just got her five mixed up. Okay, number six on page 553. Model A is shaded to represent a value that is less than one whole. Tell whether each fraction or decimal correctly represents what's going on here in model A. So do we see eight tenths here? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But I know that this is hundredths, so that's 80 hundredths. If I wanted to reduce that or simplify it to eight tenths, I would divide by 10 to bottom and top, and I would get eight tenths, so yes, that's true. 80 hundredths is true as well, but this right here is 8 hundredths. 
and there aren't eight boxes shaded and there's 80 so this one's a no okay and then let's do number eight on page 554 to finish up show how to plot four tenths eight tenths two tenths and four tenths on a number line below explain how you know your answer is correct so we're always gonna have to start with zero and then I'm just gonna start since all of mine are in tenths I'm just gonna start with um, one tenth two tenths three tenths four tenths five tenths six tenths seven tenths eight tenths nine tenths and then this would be one whole okay and then if I'm gonna write them as fractions I could just write it on top so this is one tenth two tenths three tenths four oops five tenths six tenths tenths eight tenths nine tenths and then we could say ten tenths or that's the same as saying one okay so four tenths is right here eight tenths two tenths and then 0.4 okay so I hope this helps